jumping over cones, mm-hmm. like a small cone. And I landed on it wrong, same feeling, my knee gave out and I fell, kind of just like pushed my knee back in place, shook it off, kept going. Oh, wow. And then the third, that was one more time. I was like the third time, I was um, working the pads with my coach and I went for a hook. Yeah. And as I turned that leg, my left leg, because it was my left leg, as I turned for the hook, my knee popped out, gave out, and I collapsed. And then my coach was like, all right, we're done. Wow. And she wouldn't let me come back to the gym until I went to see a doctor. Yeah, I, I probably wouldn't either. <laughs> Dang, so you, you basically don't even know how long you really like lived with having your ACL torn. I don't. I really don't know because I think that it was sprained for a very long time because the common thing, because I had a meniscus injury too. And so the meniscus injury usually occurs after an ACL is torn because when the ACL is torn, your knee automatically loses its natural shape. So it's always constantly grinding on the meniscus, which I think that caused meniscus tear. So yeah. it's like, when did it happen? I don't know. I was in, it was just eight months of something's wrong with me, help me out, trying to figure it out kind of thing. Right. Oh, wow. That is yeah. crazy. So now you went to the doctor after your coach told you you can't come back. <laughs> so what did the doctors initially say? So they said I had MCL laxity, which is a whole different ligament in the knee, which is in the medial. So it's actually, I have my knee anatomy. <laughs> She's now a knee, a knee specialist. I'm a knee expert. Expert, because yes. like, what's your wait? Do you have it? Do you I have do. it? Show us the, the fake knee. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I love it. Okay. <laughs> what is the MCL that has so, this? Here is your MCL. It's on the side. It's too bright to see. It's is a it little bright. bright. I can okay. I can see when you go further back. There okay. you go. All right. So this is the MCL. So they told me I had MCL laxity, which means that this ligament was stretched, so mm-hmm. it was loose, which caused my knee to literally just kind of slip in and out. Is what they said. Yeah. Uh, but in reality, it wasn't the MCL. It was the ACL, which is inside. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's four. And then this is the meniscus. That's like the blue part. Yeah, the little padding. Yeah, so that part got torn because when the ACL tore, my knee was just kept meniscus. constantly grinding on my meniscus all the time. And I had a, what was called a bucket handle tear meniscus, mm-hmm. which means that the top of my meniscus tore and then it flipped over like a bucket handle. Ow! So it did. <laughs> and so basically every time I walked, I'd hear a clicking sound and like discomfort because that piece of my meniscus that I flipped over was stuck in the joint like the little notch when you oh walk my God, that and so, so it was just it was yeah so i ended up switching doctors and who eventually correctly diagnosed me like the first time and i was in the uh, surgery room like a couple weeks later that's how i met you yes exactly <laughs> it like what two weeks before you a week or so before your surgery yeah january I found out January 